Drug dealers adopt drones. Yeah. According to a recent Vice report, law enforcement around the world are noting a marked shift in using drones to move drugs across international borders over the past few years, driven in part by consumer drones being becoming larger and increasingly cheap. Mm. In 2021, Spanish narcotics police captured a drone with a 13-foot wingspan. Whoa. Um capable of carrying 330 pounds of cargo. While this was a mass-manufactured droid, or drone, built in China, um, built in China in 2022, Spanish? Authorities. Okay, yeah. Found three submersible drones that were manufactured specifically to ferry drugs and capable of carrying 440 pounds of cargo. Wow. Drones are also being used to deliver drugs and other contraband into otherwise difficult to reach areas within countries such as prisons, as reported by officials in the U.S. and Canada. Yeah, I read an article about this a, a while back. Apparently, that, it's yeah. really difficult to stop them because it wouldn't be a giant 13-foot wingspan one that's just like yeah. do, 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 coming up to a prison. It would be little zippy ones going, and you know they have time out in the yard or whatever else. Um there's very little incentive, I don't think, for the the people who work there to be have 100% constant monitoring of the all the skies in the area. Yeah, like, like it's it's a really difficult problem. You could drop it from pretty high too. Um, Although oh, last October, the UK government introduced no fly zones around all of their prisons, which of course, I mean, if you just have a regulation, that's that'll, gonna stop it. That'll keep out the ne'er do wells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Jeez. That's a big drone, 13 feet. That's and that would be huge. able to go pretty high, probably. Probably. But then would it be better to keep it low from like a radar standpoint? I don't know. No idea. I mean, I, I'm not involved in contraband smuggling, so I, I also admittedly don't know enough about radar. know very little about this world. Isn't radar specifically worse at picking up small objects? I don't, I do small, not Well, yeah, know. but that's why I was saying if it's it big, is pretty big, it could probably get up high. But it, it's also but it would probably have be better a lot of space in between the arms, I suspect. Stay low. I suspect those arms are thin- yeah, but if you have like 330 pounds of anything, I'd imagine that's That's a, fair. I mean, considering that they can that's pick up fair. a little whirly bird or whatever, like that's probably going to have some substantialness to it. Yeah, 330 pound capable drone could smuggle the prisoner, never mind the drugs, yeah. <laughs> Man, I I wonder if anyone's tried that. I'm surprised we haven't seen a jailbreak. <laughs> yeah. Just a drone just with dude. like two bars on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Just like Get jacked in prison. Just yeah. it's arm day every day, and all, all you, you do, do is just, just like hangs. Yeah, just, <laughs> and so you just like jump up, grab the thing, and it freaking goes. It'd be dangerous as heck, but oh, like yeah. compared to staying in prison, would I try it? Yeah, I think so. Wow, would you do it if someone arranged a drone <laughs> to just show up in the yard? Would you grab I the bottom of it I and think, go? I think it depends on like how long your sentence is. You're and in there for ten years, let's say. Ten years. You will be, you know, 40 whatever by the time you're out. If I have a chance of getting out of the country and thus not an insanely high chance of just being put back in. I don't think you have to get out of the country. No? Like if you go legit and just like live a quiet life, I think you could probably go somewhere like interior BC or like, you know, oil fields, Alberta or something just like work in an unofficial capacity. You could probably lay low. You don't think people are going to report like the guy that wants to work but refuses to give you a... I think you'd be surprised how many people are just like that anyway, mm. regardless of their pasts. Mm. I, I was Another in, uh, article I was reading recently was about the sort of uncomfortable truths that are being unearthed by services like 23andMe. Um, and I just want to make my position on them clear. You shouldn't use them. They're super, super bad, oh, not yeah. just for you, but also for anyone related to you. Uh, anyway, uh, but what was interesting about this was there's this family that found out that like grandpa was a completely different person from who they thought he was. He never played with Babe Ruth. Um, he like had a completely different family that he just abandoned. Whoa. And this was just, it didn't match anything they knew about him. They knew him as like a loving father and grandfather and didn't realize that he had just walked away from his responsibility in the U S before he moved up to Canada or something like that. Oof. I don't know. Allegedly. Um, that's unfortunate. Anywho, 10 I've, years. I have heard of a crazy amount of people finding out that like their parents, like someone cheated on somebody or something because they're like, huh, I don't have anything from this line. That's weird. Um, 
Yeah. And also just like family lies in general. Yeah. Uh, that that might come from... Like, oh, yeah, we have Irish, you know, heritage yeah. or whatever. It's like, don't... What are it, you talking about? No, we don't. In some cases, I've heard that those were very well-intentioned, actually, but it was eventually forgotten that it was a lie, if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, because, like, they did so to avoid persecution or yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Uh, but then eventually the, the lie was kept so secret because it was so important yep. that it just was forgotten eventually. But Top 10 drones that get you out of prison. <laughs> That'd be a good video. Man, the, <laughs> the propellers on that thing would be scary as fuck. So like an April Fool's video? Like how to break out of prison? <laughs> am I, am I going to have to buy another cantaloupe? I could smuggle in drones. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> So you smuggle in a swarm of tiny drones yeah. in people's butts, <laughs> and they all work together to lift you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Wasn't that the first video you worked on or something, Dad? No, it was one of the first requests I got for a video. Um, I don't think I'd been here very long. I was working in logistics and of course it was like, oh, hey, we need a cantaloupe for this video. Uh, <laughs> why? Why do you want a cantaloupe? Oh, well, it needs to be an analog for somebody's butt. <laughs> We're going to put a phone in it. <laughs> butt phone. Uh, butt phone. All right. I should have stayed at my last job. <laughs> <laughs> what? They didn't have butt phones at your last job? <laughs> no. Boring. <laughs> I signed up to manage inventory, not in butt phones. Inventory the butt phone. Yeah. Te exactly. Technically, we also had to do that. Well, you have to find it first. <laughs> oh, it's, it's very uncomfortable. Time to like, find the phone. <laughs> we knew exactly where it was. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, boy. What even is this show? Who knows? Oh, wow. A Griff Aviation 300 can carry 227 kilograms or 500 pounds of weight. It only has a flight time of 31 minutes. You could get pretty far in 31 minutes. But you, but that's, yeah, 15 kilometer range. Sorry, Griff Aviation? Yeah, Griff Aviation. There's an Ehang 184 that can carry 220 pounds and go 30 kilometers. That's Each. far enough away that you'd be kind of hard to track down. I'm looking at, there's a joav cw-80e that can carry 55 pounds and it has a flight time of 840 minutes or 100 to 200 kilometers which is like wow okay what am i looking at how big is it tell me how griff big it is 30 Get the one i was looking at was a griff aviation 300 not 30 uh, this i hate websites this like this looks so really stupid. annoying Oh Yeah, I would like it to take forever to navigate your website. Why don't you make a site like that? That thing also doesn't need to fully take over the screen. It only covered half the screen with information. How big is it? How about a single picture uh -huh. with any kind of a banana or something? <laughs> Six. I need something for scale. How about a banana? That's perfect. Ah, oh, this is useless. Forget it. I give up. Okay. Ah, uh, what else we got? Brands use AI influencers. I mean, this is pretty funny. Oh, here, here, here. I got oh, it. You got it. Okay. But that's a kind mountain. Funky looking. How, Luke, how is that supposed to help me know how big it is? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait, Max. Size. Here we go. It's 3.4 meters long. Pew. Pew. Wait. Oh, 3,400 meters. Wait, what is even that? Okay, I don't know. Uh, that looked... Uh, sorry, I, I thought it... Okay, sorry, what is it? So I'm, I'm reading this off of a TV over there. I thought it yeah. was 3.4 meters, which would kind of make sense. But height is, is that 600... What? Sorry, what? 0.6 meters would make more sense. Oh, kilo, 3.4 kilometers? Size, length? That doesn't make any sense. It's probably, it's probably millimeters and there was a typo. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so 3.4 meters then, probably. Yeah, yeah they're about that big. Yeah. Okay, and okay, okay. Point, yeah, that's a very reasonable. 0.6 meters for height. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's about how, how big they should be. Yeah. So mills is what the, they were going for there. Yeah. 